So we at Mobile World Congress 2018, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tin Lim from Minatec, corresponding to Prota Marketing. And you're launching the Helio P60. Yeah. So this is a uh, uh, octa-core. Yes, and this is uh, our most uh, attractive SoC platform for mainstream and to high-end platform. It's the uh, most powerful, right? Yeah. So it's a Quad A73, Quad A53. Yeah, it's uh, we have four big code, four small code, and uh, for the four big code, uh, it can uh, help you to run in some application in higher fire performance. And it's also a, a Mali G72, right? Yeah. So very powerful GPU. Yes, Mali G72 is can help uh, people to enjoy some game uh, without uh, and, and too much uh, with uh, with many good performance. And uh, here you're showing, for example, that uh, the, the the computer vision engine right here is um, is able to do very strong bokeh. Yes. Uh, a single camera? Uh, this is dual camera. Because dual camera. Uh, yeah, because dual camera is a very hard uh, feature for the mobile phone maker, <laughs> and they want to uh, enable it. So we help them to pre-integrate uh, uh, the dual cam bokeh feature in our Huawei phone, so they can enjoy this kind of technology without too much uh, technology. And it does a very strong bokeh effect using the dual camera, real-time uh, computer vision. Yes, yes. Very we have strong. we have a two I, uh, ISP can help our customer to uh, doing the real-time bokeh uh, and provide very good uh, efficient. You can see yeah. right now here. And uh, what do you show over here? Okay, so here is another uh, technology we provide to our customer. It's embedded in our P60. It's a hardware face detection. So uh, you can see here, uh, it can detect the face very quickly. Uh, in the, in, the, in a different scenario, it can identify the face very quickly. Compared to other uh, solutions, you can see our face detection can, uh, can uh, be used for all right. Cool. So uh, that, that's important to focus fast, or what is it for? Yeah, focus fast and find the face very fast. All right. And what more are you showing over here? Okay. Next is about uh, our another key feature of P60. This is the uh, our AI. So you, right now the P60 you run on these. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is our internal phone. We use it for our internal development. So it's a development phone for yes. internally for MediaTek. Yes. Um, which, uh, what kind of display do you have? Uh, this it display is a. Uh, uh, is that a 120 hertz? No. No. Is a uh, is not. Can you support 120 hertz? Can you support high? Yes, we can support 120 hertz. So very fast UI, fast yeah. display. Yeah. All right. And but this is about the AI. Yes. So what do you enhance in the, with the AI? The AI, are we, uh, because AI, it can be adapted in different applications. So from me, I'll take a point of view, we, will, we would like to help all of the ecosystem players can integrate their AI application on top of our platform. So we uh, support the standard Android neural network SDK and also help some key partner to integrate their AI application in P60. So you have a... Uh, uh Neural network on the P60. Yes, yes. So how big, how much performance do you have with the neural network? Uh, that depends on the application, but uh, because uh, the key point for the standard Android neural network SDK is it's a standard interface. So everybody can uh, use this standard standard inter interface without uh, porting to every platform without too much care. Is this the called the mobile APU? Yes, we uh, we have in P60 we have a mobile APU. This APU can help. Uh, AI application to uh, doing some provide some hardware acceleration function. So, for example, face unlock, face recognition. For example, what what else is possible? Okay, Maybe, uh, right antivirus. now, virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, right now we can uh, talk, we have uh, several different application. From this one, this one is running on GPU, and this is face recognition. So you can see the face recognition is very quickly. It can identify your face uh, yeah. less than zero point one second. Okay. So fast face unlock. Yes, and, and uh, here? here we have uh, uh, here we have a 3D and emoji. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Boot up. So an emoji is like a, a, a iPhone emotic, emoji. emoticon uh, yeah, yeah. animated uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from your face, right? Yeah. It's a new trend. Yes. Where people do all these uh, advanced front camera bokeh, really? Okay.
This is the uh, single can pocket uh, feature uh, developed by uh, Arcsoft. So, how does that work? Uh, you can see, uh, it can identify you, it can identify you and uh, blur the background. And uh, this is can do in run real time. So you can preview the past the 4K effect uh, right. for this application. You can see the background is blur. Maybe, uh, let, let me show me. Show you? Yeah. yeah, you can see. Uh, <laughs> Blur effect is okay. enabled. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And That's pretty cool. Yeah, and in the beach, because it is a single camp uh, solution, so uh, and uh, it's also software the solution. Uh, many uh, all of the OEM vendors they can adapt without how it cost. Nice. So you don't need a dual camera for dual bokeh. Yeah, yeah. Just thanks to the mobile APU, the neural network. Yes. This is running on our APU. So uh, when you're running on our APU, the power consumption is about one tenth of the uh, compared to the running on the GPU. Oh, one tenth. Uh, one percent. tenth. One wow. tenth. Cool. And uh, what are you showing over here? Okay. Dual front camera, though. No. Yeah. This dual can. Uh, uh, this is our uh, reference solution uh, for the. A 3D structure light. Uh, you can. Uh, this use the uh, 3D structure light to uh, doing some face recognition. Ah, so this is a uh, face unlock using uh, a IR. Uh, yes. Infrared. Infrared. Yes. And uh, th because this. So the infrared beamer and the infrared camera. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Infrared camera. Yeah. Two and two. Uh, one IR camera. One RGB. And one laser dot projector and one flood emulator. Nice. How much it cost this uh, hardware to do uh, this type of face unlock? Uh, th th this module. Uh, maybe the factory price is uh, five, ten dollar more. The phone, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's actually <coughs> co-working with uh, another vendor. And as for the price, we we don't no no yet. But uh, it, it's a little bit expensive. But uh, the accuracy rate is quite high. Yeah. All right. And this stuff can also be in the back of the phone, right? It doesn't have to be only in the front. It yeah. can be in the back. Yeah, but the application usually use in front, front, in the front. But yeah, because you want to do the face unlock, yeah. and also maybe you will use it for the payment. So front camera will be much more reasonable. But what I think maybe is more interesting is to do a 3D scanning of the space. You wanna, you wanna, like Project Tango, right? Yeah, yeah. And Project Tango is in front. Yeah. Apple is at the back. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. But there's lots of different the user scenario. Yeah, different user scenario. For the uh, 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 real camera, the use case is just like a uh, project uh, Tango or maybe AR solution. <coughs> they maybe can uh, for some uh, uh, maybe uh, application. Yeah. yeah, yeah, AR related application. Can we walk more and look around? Yeah. So you have some more demos over here. So. You can do high quality voice over LTE. Yes. Uh, Vi LTE is video over LTE, I guess. Yes. Uh, uh, wait a moment. I need to uh, find someone. Switching 2.0. What is that about? <laughs> hey. Say um, other um, phones have two antenna, so if you block one of them, uh, you lose some signal, so the data transmission is lower but we have three different antennas. So if you cover one of them and you block it, nice. it switches automatically so that you don't uh, miss the signal. And anything. you don't lose any of the speed? Yeah, you don't. Full speed? Yeah. So like, for example, the iPhone at one point, you cannot use it with the left hand. Yeah, yeah so that was what yeah. This you fixed. Yes. Yeah, we fixed it. And provide much more flexible solution to nice. the phone maker. So that's part of P60? Yeah. And uh, you have a power efficient modem? Yeah. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, what we're doing here is a real-time simulation with, uh, where we're um, using one of uh, the MediaTek Helio features of connectivity, which is the Wi-Fi hotspot. And what we have here is an LTE um, signal generator, which connects with these two boxes. In these two boxes, we have one phone with uh, the chip of our competitor, and then another phone in the other box with the chip of uh, that we... The that P60. We, yeah, with P60. And what we do here is that, oh, sorry. So it's uh, at different bit, bit rates, 
Yeah, at different bit rates of downloading, we see that our technology, what does, it consumes less power than our competitor, which means saving up to 40% of the power. In, and this is a real-time um, demonstration. 50% power saving yeah. at 25 megabits yeah, which for Wi-Fi. For Wi-Fi hotspot. But <laughs> we went a little bit further than of that, and we also tried all these um, features. LTE standby, Wi-Fi hot, hotspot. Oh, wow. Um, and voice LTE, voice I LTE data link, and in all of them, our chips were saving power in compare of our competitor chips. Is this something you can do with AI? Uh, no, or is it's it not something AI. else. That's something is else. It's modern? relevant only uh, for more than. Is it more than technology? Yeah, more than technology. All right. Yeah. It's on 12 nanometers, right? Yeah. Oh uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 12, 12, yeah, 12, 12 nanometers. Nanometer. So it's a new design with TSMC. Very, very power efficient. Right? Yes. Yes. Very and, and uh, good price. Yes. <laughs> but high performance, but good price, right? Yes. Yes. All right. You have you have more demos. With yes, the we have it. Okay. Here, uh, in our PCD, we also provide some. Uh, 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 can you can enable the uh, Palm Express wireless ca this charging? Is wireless charging. Yeah? Yes. So, is it charge uh, fast? Yeah, you should charge it fast. I should have to yeah. How, how fast uh, is uh, the wireless charger? Is it is fastest it? wireless charger in the world? Yeah, it's a wireless charge, fast wireless charger. For in receiver side, it can charge it with 10 watt. 10 watt. 10 watt. Yeah. 10 watt like uh, um, around the two times uh, to the conventional. Two times. Yeah. More. Yeah, two times. Time. Yeah, yeah, it's faster. So uh, right here, we're looking at the. And this is a transmitter power, so it's 13 watt right now. But it's a uh, 1.13A. Uh, uh, you don't need to care about it. Yeah, you just need to check that. So if it's a uh, 4,000 amp milliamp hour battery, how long it will take to charge? Ah, uh, in general, it depends on the the phone. But in general, it's uh, around the. Two and a half an hour to so the whole charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's charges to be similar to wire, almost similar. Ah, similar to a USB Type C. Yeah, yeah, USB Type C. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Because it, uh, you um, in wire uh, charging, wire charging also had a, a wire uh, fast charging and the normal yeah. charging. So the wireless charging speed. Is a quite similar yeah. to the wire, yeah. And uh, so, in the in the phone, there's a big coil, or where's the coil to do the wireless? Uh, in the center. In the center. The, yeah, center. What's the cost to add wireless charger? Uh, you phone? mean the uh, cost? Minimum factory price for wireless charging. Uh, it's, uh, is it five dollar or ten dollar? No, or? no, no, just less than two or three dollars. Two or three dollar. Yeah. So every phone should have it, right? <laughs> yeah. Why yeah, do really? some phone not have it? Because, I don't know. Because they choose uh, <laughs> yeah. to have a better... Yeah, yeah. I think every phone should have the wireless... So this is the fastest Qi. Yeah, fastest Qi. And, and, uh, so to do this, you have a, a receiver and transmitter? Yeah, this is a receiver. In the phone? In the phone. And this is a, a transmitter. Use a RT3181A nice. transmitter. And how much is a hardware cost to make a... Less than Less five. Than five. five. So it should, everybody should use this, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. No need okay. the cable anymore. Yeah. No Can need you also do data transfer, or no, you don't do no. that? No, we don't do that. Don't, just, just power. Just power. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. So here are another uh, yeah. key feature about our P60. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here are our yeah. another key feature. We uh, in our P60 we have very good uh, power, uh, thermal control. Yes. So uh, maybe you can introduce the thermal control in our yeah. P60. So uh, is is it running right now in here? Yes. Yeah. And uh, you can see that the competitor A is completely burning up. I mean it's very hot. This one is uh, also quite hot, but there you you find you blue. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. They are the same. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Almost the same. Yeah, the key, fee, key factor of this kind of thermal control is you can see the thermal in this competitive phone is uh, is just uh, focus. It will be uh, just focusing on this area, but in our phone you can see the thermal is uh, be spread in average area. So, so uh, does that have to do with the, how you manage the CPU? Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, the core pilot is your uh, we will. multi-core system, right? Yeah, yeah. We will uh, have some technology to uh, to detect how the application will need the computing power. So when we know uh, how they want to consume the power, we will provide uh, just uh, just in time the power consumption to them and the performance. Is this part of the AI or no? Uh, no. It's a, just a, uh, right a now, it's no, there is no AI. The switcher. It's, yeah, yeah. The multi-core switcher technology. Yeah. And the AE73 uh, core is a very optimal, high-performance core. It's better than the A72. Uh, In the X30, it was A A72, dual core. Now, uh, quad-core A73, very optimized, right? Yes. You, you, you can, you, we should say the uh, no matter is A72 or A73. We, this kind of technology can apply in different ARM um, architecture. So uh, we develop this kind of technology and help the, the CPU to run in and uh, provide the power consumption, power performance to the uh, application just in time. Can you bring something with the sensor? Yes, yes, we can show you another one. Okay. It's a little bit busy right now. But uh, yeah, maybe we can yeah. go another. Yeah. So this is uh, the core pilot. Core pilot, yes. Yeah. So what is it showing right here? Uh, this is the current. This is the current in yeah. the P60 and the current of uh, uh, nanometer for nanometer. Right? And this is the power gain compared to P60 of this. Right? So um, you comparing uh, 10 nanometer chipset to 12 nanometer to 40 nanometer? Yes. And. Uh, there's a 70% reduction compared to a 40 nanometer solution. Yes. So and, we're uh, better than... But a 10 nanometer is even... It can be less? Yes. Yeah. The ah, difference... Not as big a uh, gap. Yes, this 14 to 12. Yeah. All right. So this is to explain where the 12 nanometer is placed in terms of uh, power consumption. Yes. Uh, to run these kind of games, yes. so of course, ten nanometers could be better. But is this one higher? Yes, uh, even higher. Okay. Why? Because uh, the GPU is better than yours, or uh, there are several, several conditions, right? Okay. Okay, I, I can maybe explain because this, you can see this uh, fourteen <coughs> nanometer is twelve nanometer is ten nanometer. Yeah. So from the theoretical the power consumption, the 12 nanometer should be uh, in the middle. Yeah. But you can see uh, the difference between this application. Uh, we have better, we have more, you, our podcast house consumption is almost approaching the 10 nanometer. Okay, this is the application. Uh, so our co-pilot technology can help some application uh, running on this chipset with very good power performance. But sometimes mm. some application may not gain so much uh, uh, gain, but uh, you can see at least uh, it's almost uh, uh, similar, but uh, nice. better than in average. Nice. So uh, set uh, new benchmarks for SOC power consumption. Yeah. Uh, CPU yes. architecture oh, yes. of the yes. MediaTek. Oh, this one yes. Energy away plus. scheduler plus <laughs> EAS plus. Thermal management, UX monitoring. All right, and there was a sensor right over here. Uh, what is this about? Yes, uh, let us introduce another solution. This bio, our bio sensor sensing solution. Nice. So, what kind of sensor you have here? Uh, is it uh, does it take a, a, a blood pressure monitoring? Yeah, we have uh, six bio signs like uh, here. You can now put heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen level in your blood, and the fatigue, and also pressure index. Also the ECG and the picture from in one minute. How do you do the blood pressure? Oh, okay, we test the... Uh, A big one around the arm? Oh, no, no, we test the... Uh, the the blood flowing, flowing speed from heart to the finger. We, yeah. One finger. So, is, do you use something like this, or? Yeah, you can take it like this way. So, how do you? Uh, how does it go to the finger? I don't know. You, you, you need we, something we, else. We figure out. No, we figure out information from the thumb. 
at this way. You need another sensor. Oh, this is enough. To this, do blood this pressure. Is blood pressure. Yeah. This does blood pressure. Yeah, you can you can you can you can test it by yourself. You can, do you want to check? All right. Oh yeah. Oh, can you try? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Trends, Let me connect to the Brutus first. Okay. So, uh, okay. is this going to be available? Is this going to be MT6381? It's already uh, available. For mass production. So you can see ECG, right? And the PVG. The first coming is a hard array. Seventy one. Then we're coming out with the oxygen level. Ninety eight, ninety nine. And then we're coming out. What you say the blood pressure? We measure the pulse width transition time from heart to the fingertips. So give you the blood pressure. And finally, we're coming out the exhaustion exhaustion level and the pressure level. Like breathing? Like breathing. No, not breathing. It means you're you are tired or, or or nervous, something emotional index, so like this. So my blood pressure is normal, and we upload your data to the cloud and give you give you an instant report here. So my heart rate is uh, in the normal region. The same for the SpO2 in the normal region. What's the SpO2? The oxygen level in your blood. And here, level in your blood. Okay. Normally it's above uh, 95. If you're okay. below 90 or feel dizzy, or when you're climbing into the high mountain, action level. Oxygen, oxygen. Action. Uh, oxygen. 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 Okay. And then there's a uh, fatigue. Fatigue, yeah. Ex exhaustion level. If you are feel exhausted, the index will go in high. In the pressure level, if you feel high pressure, the index will go in high. Okay, it's a heart rate risk. They tell you if you have an irregular heartbeat. Okay, you want to have no you have to try to try. I will try. Yeah. Try. This is great. So uh, this already on the market? Yeah. But how much is the price for something like this? Uh, the reference price is six dollars. How much? Six US dollars. Six. Six US dollars. Sorry. For Just six. Six US dollars. Not yeah. sixty or sixteen yeah, or six, 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 six US dollars. Six for this kind of sensor. Yeah. What is inside here? So. There's a IR, uh, yeah, infrared, infrared, and uh, the photo diode. Photo diode. Three sensors inside. What's over here? It's just the metal. It's nothing. It's metal. It's metal. To yeah, connect to connection to connection to the chip. So only yeah. this one is doing yeah. this, and then the the MT six three eight one. Is that yeah. a ARM Cortex? Oh, no, no, no. It's just it's just the front end. Just a front sensor. Yeah, it's a front sensor. Yeah. How long? How do you charge this? What charge is it's just a coin battery. How long will it last? Uh, it's uh, over one year. Wow. Yeah. So it's on the market. Many people use this. Yeah. It's, uh, there are two kinds of uh, one. The, some customer they put it into embedded the phone. In the phone. Yeah. So you see, like you can make it that this way. Nice. Yeah. Can you have it embedded in the fingerprint reader? Yeah. So. It's just a fingerprint. Yeah. You see. Yeah. The major process. So some customers they put this on the phone. Some is to use the accessory. Yeah. Because people touch their phones all the time. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So, so can I see this one again? Yeah, sure. Where does it go? Oh, yeah, it works like this way. Okay, my phone is good, okay? Sorry. So, make sure like this way. So, where do you touch there? Fingertips. Yeah. Like this way. Can you put the other one there. Yeah, because we have to close the door. Make sure it's easy. Yeah. 60 seconds. Yeah, give you six and bio signs. Is this uh, FDA approved? Uh, it depends on the customers. Is it is it accurate? How, it's very how good. Is it, how, compare, how does it compare with taking blood pressure on the arm? The same. Our heart rate is PO2 and the ECG can pass the FDA. But our blood pressure is close to the FDA. Close? Close to the FDA. So it's not very far from the accuracy of the very, 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 very close, very close. Because the arm is, yeah. a, is a annoying. It's annoying and there's a... Take time? And the volume is a bigger volume. Bigger yeah, volume? Yeah, yeah. So This one is just one like this. Yeah, yeah. You should try it. Try yeah. it. But, uh, so, so is it already mass production? Yeah, yeah, mass production. So the the first cell phone was coming on on April, and the accessory are coming on on May this year. Yeah. Cool. cool. That's awesome.